You've made an impression on me, Barbara. I have have to say that. Yes, you have. Well, I'm glad. Okay, thanks for your call. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. You were very pleasant then. Oh, she made an impression on me. Sometimes things can make you sit up and stand up and take stock. Mm, Nice. Reg. Oh, George. Yes, Reg. The biggest trouble with blues, as I've said to you before, is the fans. It's no use trying to tell them, George. Mm. They they won't listen to you. They're too thick. Mm. Anybody, any fool can see what's going on down there. And Tom Ross. Well, it just breaks my heart he's a blue supporter. It really does. He's the biggest flaming idiot I've ever heard in my life. And you don't give him enough stick, George. Oh, you yeah, Reg. You've cheered me up now, Reg. No, oh, you dear, Reg. Them, George, they just won't listen to you until uh, they're in the fourth division, yeah. George. Box they all just con- won't listen. Vauxhall Conference, Reg, maybe. Yeah. I'll tell, right, yeah. tell you what, they drew 1-1 with Highgate last night. And it struck me that they were nearer Highgate's level than they ever oh, will be Goodison Park and Hillsborough and Old you. Trafford ever again. And I've they... been supporting them for 30 years. Mm. And I've always said that Blues worst enemy is the fans. They stand for anything, George. Mm. That's why Villa's such a good club, because they don't stand for nothing down Villa Park. Mm. But Blues will stand for anything. And Tom Ross, he'll... that bloke, he, he, he makes the ears of my neck stand up. Well, go and support and... the Villa then if you don't like it. Uh, you, you want to go to Villa? Yeah, you, you need to. You yeah, we need supporters like you at St You're Andrews, that's for sure. It's supporters yeah. like you, that's why we're in the fourth division. We're not, we're in the third, but that was close. Well, the, well we will be in the fourth. Yeah, All we'll right. never do no good with supporters like you. You're oh. nothing but a creeper. All Run right. around Kumash. Oh, I hate that's... to stop you, Reg. <laughs> I hate to stop you, but I've got to stop you there, Reg. Thanks for the call. Uh, we'll have Barbara back in a minute, so we're very careful. Mark, hello, Mark. Yeah, so we're very careful. Mark, hello, Mark. Evening, George the Truth. Yes. Oh, hey, George. I'm all right, yeah. I like that. George the, George the Truth. That's a good ring yeah, to it, that. I like that, yeah. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the yeah. Oracle. Uh, George the Oracle. I like that even better. Start by saying, George, thanks very much for the signed photo. Oh, right, OK. Which I received uh, last week. Uh, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> well, no <fancy laughs> <me>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That'll keep the kids away from the fire. Put it on the mantelpiece. <laughs> anyway... Um... Uh, Michael. Hello, George. Yes, Michael. If, if Morel, so why, I want you to ask Tom this, and I want a serious answer. Why did it take the Rebel players so long to sign contract? On the back of Wembley, we've been on about Wembley now. Yes, Michael. Great day. Yes, Michael. Why You're true, so Michael. Why did, why did the Blue squad have to be dragooned back into playing for Birmingham City? You Do you want the answer? Me. Do you want the answer? Yes, please. Because they just were hanging out for the best possible deal they could get. Finishing 13th in the third division. No, the best, they wanted the best deal. Hey. You go to your boss and you want the best deal. I go to mine and I want the best deal. And, it, and I might hang on a bit. I might say it isn't good enough. You negotiate. Then look at that, Excuse job, me. Sir, Tom. Well, um, you made that. That is not the question you asked me. The question you asked me is why did it take them so long? A lot of clubs are doing the same thing. Albion have still got three who haven't agreed contracts yet. That's the way it goes. Not 17, oh, George. It was 17 to start uh, off with. They've 21. all signed. Well, all right. Yeah, OK. Thanks for your call, Michael. Oh, two. Hello, Claire. Hello. Um... I just want to say that I think Blues will do very well this season, and can you leave Tom Ross alone? Oh, right? he doesn't need women's help. After Reg, I need somebody's help. Mm. Um, and I just want to know why you're always slagging Blues off, and is it because you're a Villa fan, and can you admit that, you're, that you are a Villa fan? No, I can tell you straight away, Claire, I am not an Aston Villa supporter. Well, who do you support, then? I support all the Midland teams. I want them all to do well. I particularly want to, the, the teams that are investing in success and trying hard to do well. I want them to do well. I don't like teams which don't invest in the football and the supporters. And I think if so clubs... Hang on. Excuse me one second. Warsaw haven't spent anything, I don't believe. Albion haven't spent anything yet. Birmingham City haven't spent anything yet. So are you saying that you don't want them to have success? No, I'm not saying that at all. No, not I you. Just... I was talking to George. I'm just, I just... Hang on a bit. Hang on, Claire. Go on, Claire. Can I carry on now? Of course you can. Right. Sorry, sorry you were interrupted there by, by that impolite Tom Ross. Go on. No, it's not impolite at all. Um... And I cannot see how you think West Brom are going to... I can't see them going up. I'm prepared now to put a bet on with you that Blues will finish on in the Albion next season. Ah, ah. I'd, oh. I'd, t- I'd put that bet with him as well. I'll bite your hand off. All right, George, I'll make a deal, right? If Blues finish on in the Albion next season... You come down to St Andrews, right, the last home game of the season, and apologise to all the Blues fans on the pitch. On the pitch, on the centre spot, 
to everybody in person. I will, I will on bended knee, apologise. That'll do for me, and I'll provide the microphone and introduce you very well. Superb. Uh, and, 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 if I'm wrong, can the Albion do finish above yes. us? Yes. I'll come to the studios, I'll personally shake your hands, and I'll say you was right. But I don't think you'll be right for a minute. Because you think the world is a good side for the start, so I yeah. Is is that it? Can't we go? Can we get sort of you know, go to get some money here? I mean, I'm really you know feeling quite cut anyway. All right, then I'll be. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't gamble. Thanks very much, Dean. <laughs> Carl, hello, Carl. What I'm saying is you can't knock other clubs in the same situation. So what? On what basis do you think Blues will have a good season next year? Because I don't think they're any worse than they were last year. And in fact, they I thought their league position last year didn't do them any favours. Bearing in mind that I saw most of the games. Oh, I'm sorry, but it sounds so much like cloud cuckoo land to but me. I saw most. Hang on, I saw the. You were there for goodness' sake! Don't say that. You sat there the night they murdered Grimsby, and you said, "How haven't they won this game?" You said it yourself. Hmm. They did play good football at times, Birmingham City. But so it's fine tuning. They, all they need is a couple of players. I believe a co that doesn't make them a good side. We're talking third division here. A couple of players will put them in the frame to get out. That doesn't make Birmingham City a good side, and I'm not for one minute suggesting it would. But a couple of players put them in the frame to get them out. Then they've got to reinvest again in the second division if they manage to get out. But it isn't as gloomy and as black as you would have everybody believe. Oh, yes, it is. Says who? Me. I mean, you don't give me any basis for that, just, you know, to justify that. Well, I think, I think you're a suitable case for treatment, I really do, if you believe all you just said then. If you honestly and truly believe Absolutely. all you've said then. Absolutely. I think you're demented then. Mind you, at least I'm consistent. John, it's Swansea, and we're getting relegated after the six or seven games. Well, There's no guarantee after that part of the season that you'll be anywhere near things in the spring. And people who run away with it and get uh, over the moon about it are really uh, in fool's yeah. paradise. So you have to keep your feet on the ground, say it's been a very, very good start, very respectable, but, you know, six games on the trot in April would be far, far better and more constructive than six games on the trot yeah. in August, September. That's right. Have you seen them yet, George? No. But I haven't seen Pavarotti sing either, and I know he's a good singer. I think, though, George, if Birmingham City were bottom of the table with 60 feet, you would be calling for crisis. You wouldn't say, hang on, there's only six games gone, let's wait. So why not enjoy them being at the top? No, I wouldn't. And, take, and then no, accept... Oh, excuse me, I'd be saying, Terry Cooper's a good manager, give him time. You would not. Absolutely. Terry Cooper said... That he's very happy with the... He's now ended his wheeling and dealing, almost certainly, because he's happy with the way the squad's looking. Once, and he wants Gale back, um, badly, but he's quite happy with the way it's gelling at the moment. He's happy with his team in... And I don't know whether all of a sudden the third division's a bad division. It doesn't look any worse to me than it did last year. Terry Cooper has said today, he's happy. He said today that he's happy with the squad the way it is now. Doesn't want any new players? He, no, what, I asked him if he was finished wheeling and dealing... And he said, ah. I think, yes, he said, I think I have, because I'm happy the way it's looking at the moment. Get Big Gale back. That's, his, that's the way he was talking. So he isn't unhappy with his team as such, but I just wonder where this bad third division's come from all of a sudden. Well, I'd be amazed. So, so if, if Birmingham City win a few games, it becomes a bad division. I'd be amazed if Terry Cooper meant that he didn't want any new players in. He may be forced to accept the situation which he's got at the moment, unless he can sell players. I, I, I can't accept what you're saying, because last season you said that the team they had was a couple of three players short. They've now got that same squad, Bart Overson, and he's added four players, and you still ain't satisfied. What have they got to do? Bailey. And Hopkins? The fringe players, anyway. Oh! Bailey scoring goals in the first division. Can't be a fringe player. How many goals has he got? Overson was the player of the year. Can't be a fringe uh, player. But, uh, but, no, what I'm saying, you said they needed two or three players. He's brought in four, has he, I think? Good players. To the ten that was in... Good to, to the players. Ten, and, like, they're doing okay. Don't get running away No, but with all I'm things. saying is, is that, you know, I accept what you say and everything else, but I'd like to see some reasoning behind it. You just suddenly say the third division's a bad division. Awful. Who says? Off me, just then. But how, why, where, we... Explain. My analysis of the situation says the third division is pathetic this but season. How? On the evidence of what I've seen so far. How many third division games have you seen? Enough. I'm not going to win this one. I've seen West Bromwich Albion and Swindon, two very good teams, 
and Swindon, well, Swindon are second division team. But the, the West Bromwich Albion team look all right, but nothing special, and they're favourites. But, the, but the division is no different to what it was last year. A couple of teams have come down. In fact, Albion, a better team, shouldn't have come down, I heard. So they're a better team than perhaps the one that went out. So uh, all I'm saying is I don't think it's as bad, and it is the third division and we mustn't get carried away, and you, you're absolutely right, six wins means nobody should get carried away, for goodness sake. I tell you, because Birmingham City started well last year, when the cold, not dark nights come, if they start winning then, that's when you know they've got a chance. But give the, give the manager and, and the team a break, because they are winning games, and I tell you what, there isn't a manager, and you did say that, that, that um, you preferred Villa's start to Blues. All I know is that Ron Atkinson would swap his stats... For, the, for six wins and no defeats. I'm no, sure he would. I'll keep the pressure up. I'll keep the pressure up because I think, I think what we've done here on BRMB, to the credit of this station, has actually got Birmingham You're City moving. You're not going to take the credit for it. Has actually got the, the whole thing moving a little bit. Should it's you... forced Samish Kumar to go out and get a quality manager. He knew he wouldn't be anywhere near chairman of Birmingham City if he didn't go out and get a top-class manager. We kept that pressure up when other people were too sycophantic to say anything. We've kept that pressure up. I think it's been appreciated by the chairman as well, by the way. Constructive criticism. We haven't harboured the Action Group uh, protests. We've given their time, but we haven't harboured uh, their, their comments about boycotts and all that. We've kept the pressure up in a constructive way, and I'm glad to say that constructive, constructive purpose to our criticisms has got Birmingham City where they are today. George Gavin, BRMB Sports. Straight to John. Hello, John. Oh, God. Richard. Oh, that's the last and Villa. We are the boys, we are. Well, it's <laughs> wonderful, isn't it? It's <laughs> wonderful to realise. Oh, dear. He's only out for the weekend. Absolutely. My Christ as manager, Albion will never do any good until the board go. Mm. All right, well, don't, don't be profane. How, how do you just... You just amaze me, then, when you said Birmingham City haven't kicked a ball, haven't played anybody yet. They scored four goals without reply against Exeter. The Albion let three goals in by a team who was having a nightmare of a start. The bottom table... Team yeah. the how do you work all that out? Oh, hang on. All right, if we're, if we're doing stats and comparisons No, I'm not doing stats. I'm just, I'm just... You're just throwing comments away. The Albion stuck six packs past Exeter. Does that make the Albion a better three team? In. Does that make the Albion a better team? Three in. Does that mean the Albion got a better attack than the Blues, then? Not at all. They played a bad team. Well, and how can you compare them? But, the, but you are. You're saying Blues haven't kicked a ball. Six games, six no defeats. Albion have kicked a ball and done well, and yet they haven't won. I don't understand the reasoning all the time. Blues haven't played well yet. Who said? They haven't Who reached said? a consistent pattern of football. Consistent which would convince... six wins, no defeats. Mm, yeah, you say that, it trips off the tongue very easily. OK, I won't say that. I've watched them every single game. And they, against Hull, they gave away, they had chances. Hull had chances to win. And against Fulham, I'm told that they had chances to win. But every other game, Birmingham City have outplayed teams and created a host of chances. Give, just give them the, the, at least the credit for being where they are and for doing what they've done. Well done, Birmingham City. Well, thank you. RMB Sport, first and best. OK, Hobsmoor Road, yes. A very, very, very shameful situation. Shame on those people, all those people associated with the Barons who, for whatever reason, decided to go to Sheffield and sell out. Sold up the motorway. Don't, no, no you, you really are out of your depth. You're out of your depth with this. You don't know the facts. The facts are that, that they had no option because the club is on the ver like, days from going bust. If it goes bust, there's no ice hockey in Solihull at all. Is that what you want? Phil, hello, Phil. Julie. Hello. Yes, Julie. <laughs> oh, I'm a Solly or Barons fan. What do you I... think, Julie? <laughs> oh, I don't want to watch First Division Ice Hockey. No, no, me. I want to watch Premier Division Ice Hockey. Yeah. Because it's the best spectator well, you know, sport you, you there is. Well, you better hang on, because Tom will tell you in a minute you're out of your depth. You're only a fan. You know, and you mustn't say anything. No, 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 you no, hang on. No, no hang on. Hang on, don't tell me. <laughs> uh, what, put words in my mouth to the Solihull fans. I want to watch Premier Ice Hockey, yeah. but I tell you what, Julie, would yeah. you rather have nothing oh. at all at Solihull? Oh, here we Because that's the option. Here no, hang go. on, you don't, I don't know the know. facts. I think it's because the uh, directors, if they keep the, the name trading, all our season tickets holders haven't got a claim to say, hang on, I want my money no, back. No, you have, because you, you bought your season ticket for Premier Ice Hockey, and you have a right to ask for it back. 
Oh, but will the, the bank account's been froze, so will they be able to pay it? But if the club's sold, if the club is sold, then the debts are cleared, there's money in the bank to pay you. That's well, part no, of the I deal. They were carry on, carrying on with the Solio name. And they're just in effect buying the, uh, the just the just players. the just the team no just the team and the Premier League registration. Solly Ice Hockey Club what Limited is stays as it is. What are doing about it? Is what I want to know. Well, you what, speak to your MP. I don't know. What am I getting for the? the oh, hey, hey, Julie, that's all you get. Oh, that's all you get from people like him. Is, is speak to your MP. I don't know. That's all you get because he is partly responsible. No, he he's has not. been. He has been one of the Barons establishment over the years. Yeah. He's talked about the Barons. He's supported the Barons. He's covered the Barons. He's been amongst them. He's been in the dressing room. He's been in the announcing box. He's been. On the coaches, on the way trips, he's been part of it. And all those people part of it have sold you, Julie, and the rest of us sports fans, who may not always go to ice hockey, but want good quality sport in this part of the world. He and the likes of him have sold you up the motorway. It's a little oh, cabal, Lord. and shame, shame, no, shame, shame, shame on you. Shame Leave on you. Leave him alone, George. He's a fan. I'll never see you down there. <laughs> Tom, Tommy's a fan. So, I... I'm, I am a fan as well. But I want to know, what am I getting for the £1,000 that the club paid Solly or Council? And what am I getting for the increase of £200 from last season? Well, I think and the answer how is... how many years has it taken Solly exactly. or Council to put decent toys exactly, in the ring? Exactly, Julie. The whole thing's a shambles. Well said. Thanks for coming on. David, hello, David. Hi, George. Yes, David. Hi, yeah, it's the Barons again, I'm afraid. No, don't be afraid. Yeah, makes a change from football. I just can't believe how the BIHA can actually allow... a teams to sort of swap voters, if you like, halfway through the season. Well, it, is, well, it isn't in the rule book. I mean, that's for a start. It isn't in the rule book. But then we know rule books can be changed, can't they, overnight, if you well, want to. You hold a meeting and you change the rules. That's right. Well, how would all the Aston Villa fans feel today exactly. if we were looking at a case of, say, some third division team Coming up, saying, right, here's a million pounds, I'm buying the name Aston Villa, I'm shipping up to... Uh, well, you it, know, it wouldn't Black be allowed, would it? I mean, it wouldn't be uh, on. You know, we, uh, ice hockey is not in the realms of football. We, we realise that. But I the, mean, it's a different uh, sport altogether. Is, all right, hang on, Pontius Pilot. Thing... Hang on, Pontius Pilot. Go and wash your hands a bit more of all these problems, which you've certainly I'm not, you've certainly yeah, not I'm been not part of. I'm not absolving myself of any problems. I'm trying to make a, a rational point. Now, I know rational thinking and sp is not right you know, usually associated here at this particular moment. But, rationally, the, the situation is that nobody knows what the hell is happening. I was told by the directors that the deal had been done. I'm told by the BIHA today that it hasn't been done. So, I don't know. There's a meeting with the BIHA on Monday night to discuss it. But the, the, the word is that it might not go through. Yet the board of Solihull are telling me it's gone through. I'm at a total loss to know what exactly what is happening, but I'm as confused as everybody else. But surprise, surprise! But I tell you, I tell you now, with the way the financial situation of the club, which the board have allowed to get into, if the club isn't given to Sheffield and the money comes in or a mystery benefactor, the club goes bust. There's no ice hockey at Solihull. You you seem to want to just not not talk about that, George. English League Division 1 with two imports. What about all the young kids that train here? The Pee Wees, the Juniors, the under-14s? What about them? No. They have a right to have a club no. in ice hockey. No. No. Yes, they do. No, no, but no, no. You're setting you, up the wrong you, argument. No, you're setting up I'm totally setting the up wrong anything. argument. I'm not setting up anything. We want to know why this club is being sold I've tried to the tell motorway. You, I've tried to tell you, but you have this ink... Ability to understand the club is financially insolvent Why? because it's been allowed to be by people who are spending more money than they're getting in. They're paying too big wages, too higher wages, and not getting the money in. You've That's been the part of it. Why haven't you no, pointed this out? I have not been part of anything. You've been in the middle of it. Why haven't I you have... said this to people? I, excuse me, the board didn't know until a week ago what the financial situation was. So, how did you expect me? To? I'm, no, I'm not privy to the books or anything else. Karen. No, I announced on the radio that they wanted the funds to give £20. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Um, no, OK, so what, what if we do give £20 mm. and they still move to Sheffield? Well, well they, 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 promised, they promised that... Ev you know, they promised that everybody will get the twenty pounds back if the ice hockey club. If you get a receipt and you get the money. No, not if the ice hockey. If the ice hockey club is sold to Sheffield, you get your money back. They give you a receipt, and uh, you get your money back. And, well, I tell you, I tell if you it something. Folds, you would get your money back because it's kept separate hey, from the club. Hey, hey, and hey, I might hey, add another hey, thing. Hey, You're hey, so hey. concerned about Solly or Barons, George. You haven't put your twenty quid in to help no. the local ah, team. Good, I have. Good, good. You good, haven't. Good, good. Because I was coming on to that point. After what you've just told me. 
After what you've just told no, me. No, hang on. I know what you're going to say. Can I finish? You wouldn't put any money in. Can I finish? No, let me tell you. I know what you're going to say. Can I finish? No. Can I say it then? Can I say it? After what you've just told me about not even the directors knowing what the financial situation... They do now. They do Can now. Can I just finish? They do now, but they didn't. Oh, good. Good for them. Oh, well done. Pat on the head. After what you've just told me about the directors letting the club slide the way it has, and in your own words, and didn't know what the financial situation was... Correct. I'm not advising anybody hang on, in any hang on, circumstances. Hang on, hang on, before you say any more, before would you say, say any more, let me explain. Can I finish? This is nothing to do with the club. This is run by two supporters who are collecting the money and issuing receipts. Nothing to do with the club, and if the club's sold, or uh, the money is given back to people. It's nothing to do with Solly or Barons. You're not giving the money to them, you're giving them to the Save the Barons. I Barons wouldn't fund. give it to a beggar on the street outside Hobbsmoat Road. Why should I give it to a beggar inside well, the then, ice rink? Well then, well then... Don't start pontificating about what a shame it is and a disgrace. You're not prepared to do anything, and you're prepared to tell people not to help them, then keep out of it. That's the people my view. have given their money through the turnstile and with season tickets, and now they're being asked to give £20 begging bowl money. Disgraceful. And you're part of it. Shame on you. Shame I'm not on part you. Of anything. You're, talk you're talking through your headphones. 0213594011. Albion's record, this isn't to, you know, um, do anyone down, but if you look at the Albion's record, uh, as opposed to Birmingham's record, the Albion have beaten the top of the table team, we know that. The Albion have put four past Peterborough, Blues drew 1-1 one, one at home and were lucky to do so. The Albion beat Darlington 1-0 away, Blues could only beat them 1-0 at home. And the Albion put six past Exeter, and could have been ten, and Blues only put four past them. Without so, reply. And Blues are currently top of the table. So, I would argue, the Albion should be far more confident if the flame stays alight. It's like the Olympic flame at the, at the always Hawthorns these days. There's always an if with you. Well, uh, well, there's an always it covers an if in you. Life. It covers you. There's an if in life. No, the, the, there's only one fact here, and which you've omitted to, to dwell on. Birmingham City are top of the third division, and clearly Correct. so. Correct. And... Correct. And, I might add, and on merit. And the day you get promotion on September the 20th... And I'm 20th... reminding another thing that you've misled people a little bit tonight, if you don't mind my, my saying. You said when Terry Cooper was appointed, you changed your forecast from relegation to the Vauxhall Conference eventually to they'll just escape relegation. Now, they should be there or thereabouts with promotion. How many ifs do you want? Steve. Hey. Mm. But... Are Sheffield buying the players, or are they just buying the name of No, they're, they're buying the players, the club, lock, stock and barrel. No, 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 just the players and the registration, not the club. Well, what, what is the club? No, Solly Hill Ice Hockey Club has six teams. All right, they're buying the name and they're buying the players. Whatever's right. left behind is is, is, is going to be called the Solly Hill Barons. Right, so basically we'll be losing people like Shooter and Phil Lee and Parker and all that lot. Yeah, their contracts have gone. Right, it's... Oh, well... Words fail me, to be honest. And me. Words absolutely fail me. It's one of the most shameful episodes in Midland sporting history well, I've ever right. come across. That's right. I mean, I can't help thinking that perhaps one of the people behind it is, is the person who screwed up the finances in the first place and is now perhaps going to make the best profit out of it. But I think the least about that, the better. Who's I, that? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to know particularly. Uh, all I know is it's shameful. Because nobody's going those... to make a profit and out of it, that's for sure. And if the cap fits... Well, surely, surely the people who are selling the shares are going to make... They're not, no, I see, that's, this, is where, this is where you've been misled when people talk about selling the club. Let me explain it very carefully. Steelers will buy the Sheffield Arena, if it's allowed by the BIHA, which there's confusion now, will buy the Premier Registration and will buy the players. They will not buy the club, so the shares remain there. There's still a Solihull Ice Hockey Club Limited with all the shareholders and my shares, everybody's still in it. Get that clear. All they're going to do is buy them, which will, the money into the club then will, will then be used to pay off the debts, which have been allowed to accumulate, etc. So nobody is going to make any killing, and any suggestion that shareholders are going to make money out of this or anybody else is absolutely fantasy and crazy. Yeah, well, there's been plenty of fantasy. No, over hang the past on. You've got to get. Excuse me. What I would say to you, what I would say to you is that whatever the situation is, financially or not, Whatever the situation is, you have been sold up the motorway as a fan, okay? okay. That's your situation. Absolutely. You have been sold up the motorway. Absolutely. By whom, for how much, or when and where is immaterial. You as a fan have been sold up the motorway. That's right, and I go to the Surly Holding every week and mm. watch, the, watch the Barons play yeah. and go to as many away games as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, to, 
to find this out. And it's all happened so quick. So without quickly, any that's the worst thing. Fans do anything about it. Absolutely, I think absolutely right. Absolutely disgusting. You that, are spot on. And no matter who is the tries to thing. justify it, no matter Hang who on, tries to justify at, don't the point situation. At me. Now, don't point at me, because I will get very angry about this. Don't point at me. He's been don't let down. Don't point at me. Shut up just He's for a second. Been let I know down, it's hard work. Just keep quiet for two minutes. Keep quiet for two minutes. Right? Nobody is justifying it. All I'm saying is, listening to all... And I was, as, I was as surprised as anybody when I was told about Sheffield. Because I knew nothing about it, and that was a big shock. What was an even bigger shock was for the directors to tell me they didn't know the financial situation because they'd been let down by the guy who was looking after the accounts. That was another big shock. But when they said the two alternatives were no hockey or at least English League Division 1 hockey. Those are, the, those are the only two alternatives. You cannot seem to get that inside your head. Now, whoever's to blame doesn't make any difference. As a hockey fan, and a lot of fans were at the rink last night saying the same thing, they want something left there to cling on to, not to be dumped away. Fetch the bowl of water, please. Pontius wants to wash his hands. Dave. Oh, Andy. All right, George. Yes. Right. I think you ought to get Tom Ross off your show because he spoils it. Because he just puts a one-eyed blue fan's you. opinion over. Why is that? Why is that? You, oh, you've upset him now. Whenever there's an argument, you just go, no, no, blues are the best. Blues no, I never said, never said blues are the best. Hang on, you an Albion fan? How did you guess? Well, that says it all. All I'm saying, now well, even I'm you, sure listen, I... let me explain one thing. Y you wouldn't use George's argument, surely, of looking at the teams they've played so far and leaving out selected ones. I would. Would you? If you could have two Georges on this show, it would increase it by 100%. Thanks very much, oh, Andy. Do appreciate God. those uh, those calls. Thank you very much indeed. And like the Blues fans chanting my name in midweek, and I appreciated that yeah, as but, well. Yeah, I but think they realise what I'm trying to do. Don't get sucked in. He's only doing it because you said something good about the Albion. That's uh, all. And what have I left out, by the way? In comparing the one I've left out. No, what I'm saying, you, you, you misled people. You say, Blues only beat Darlington 1 0 at home, yeah. but the Albion won 1 0 away. Yeah. Can I just remind you, it may have escaped your attention, you it's only correct. get three points for either of those results. And you only get one goal as, in the goal difference. As a for form either of those guide, results. No, as a not form as a form guide. guide. Well, what do you want? Because Blues haven't played them away yet, so you can't, then it's not, it's not. They're not the same. You can't use them as an argument. And you, you conveniently used Exeter. Blue scored, uh, Albion scored more goals against Exeter, right? The difference in the Exeter game was 6-3, plus 3. Blues beat them 4-0, plus 4. If you want to be argumentative, be argumentative, but don't just bend the facts to suit you and those anybody else that wants to join in and be the George Gavin fan club. Facts can't be bent. Facts oh. are facts. And the facts are Birmingham City at top of the table, points clear. Dave, hello, Dave. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, I can't understand uh, that you've been putting them down so much. I who? mean, if who? you look at the tables... Who, 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 who? You. Who, who, who? I putting mean, who down? You, you say it, you're right. You know uh, who he means. So many past Darlington, we only put four past Exeter. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been a third, and they've scored 13, the Blues have scored 12. Yeah. And uh, But I can't see under the L sign that we've lost one. Which oh, Albion have? What a good point. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I oh, don't... Oh, good point. Yeah, I, I don't, like that. I don't deny that. That's you, you perfectly know, I'm right. I'm not boys, George. You know, I'm not getting against the Albion. No, no, no. But you know, I, th I think... I, th I haven't missed one game this all, season. All I did was pick out three games. You've played Darlington, Exeter and Peterborough. The Albion have played Darlington, Exeter and Peterborough. Can I make a point? And on those three games alone, forget the league table just for yeah. a minute. Yeah, on can those, you say that? That's the whole object. On those three games... The Albion's form guide is better than Blues. Yes, but what I'm saying, George, if we won every game, you know, if we won, uh, say, 15 home games and 10 away games, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, the score doesn't matter as long as we win the league or get promotion. Roy, no. a good point, because at the end of the season, George, you could take the league table, take all the games that the two teams have played, and say Albion's got a better record, yet yeah. Birmingham could still win and, the league. And thankfully, Terry Cooper is sensible enough to realise that uh, league tables don't matter till at least after Christmas. If you listen to some of the rubbish here tonight, you would think you got promoted on September no, no, the 20th. No, 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 well, you on. don't get no, promoted on. on September the well, 20th. Well, why then are you making comparisons about results now? Because it don't matter. I'm... We didn't bring it up, you did. I'm going on a form guide, which is all you can go why? on. Why? Why have a form guide with, with so many games into the season? Why? Okay. It don't matter till after Christmas. George, in another ten games, mm -hmm. you know, 15 games, we might be bottom. Well, very doubtly, we might be mid-table. And not. then you can start having a go at the No, third. I won't. You see, I'm not like that. You you know, you, you might think that I'll be gloating if, if Blues lose. I mean, the other week, you turned around and said, Oh, Blim, I've got problems. Mm. And then you turned around and said, Birmingham, and I'll tell you why tomorrow. Mm. You know? 
Mm. Top of the league. You shouldn't be saying that about us. No, I'm delighted. Don't, to, don't twist fair, things. To be fair, Midlands football, you know, all round isn't doing bad. Albion doing OK. Blues, Coventry. Warsaw are beginning to put it together. Wolves are in the top half of the second division. They're not doing too bad, Midlands football, as it uh, happens. Well, I mean, if you're going to live in cloud cuckoo land... The third division is the poxiest division I've come across well, for years. Well, it isn't about... Hey, can't we be a little bit positive about the teams? Because they ain't doing can. bad. Of course we can. And don't twist things. I'm delighted for Birmingham City. But if I'm the only person in the whole of the Midlands who's saying, well, hang on a minute, don't get carried away, not, no, then I'm sorry, it's going to be that way. We're not getting carried away. George. You're the one who's having the go. If you don't mind me asking... ...in person would want to see them top of the table. Simon, hello, Simon. George. Yes. Can I speak to Tom, please, as he's got more sense than you? No, you can't. Thanks very much. Uh, 0213, Steve. Hello, George. Hello, Tom. Uh, just one question. When you're comparing comparisons between who Blues have played and who Albion have played, why do we miss out Fulham away? Uh, oh, yeah. That was a yeah. good point. I, yeah. I, I, I wondered that. I yeah. just wondered that myself. Well, I mean, Fulham away, all right. Uh, Blues won, didn't they? And uh, Albion, Albion drew. drew. It's not, it's, it's all right, it doesn't change the emphasis on, on, no, on the form guy. When you're looking at a comparison, you should look at the whole picture. The yeah. whole picture is after seven games, yeah. we're four points clear. Yeah, yeah, of course you are, yes. I'm not stupid. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not clueless about this. All I'm saying is, on, on form, I would say the Albion have had a better start to the season despite all their tribulations, strange as it may seem. Yeah, but it, it depends on, on what your class is a better start. Blues football... haven't kicked a ball yet. Yeah, they haven't played anybody yet in the third division. Surely a better start is to please the fans. And yeah, the fans I are don't care be more who pleased. it upsets. I was, I was, I was overjoyed midweek to see <laughs> Birmingham. I was, I was tremendously uh, pleased to see Blues.